Yes, yeah, so we'll all be wearing pink after almost everybody wore green today. Uh, I didn't get to wear a green nope. jacket for obvious reasons. And if you're staying up with us, boy, are you going to love this. Yeah. This is what happens when you wear a green mm -hmm. jacket, see? You can't see yourself <laughs> no, at the you wall. So it looks like actually I'm wearing like the same color you are. Right, so you're wearing the yeah. Figling building. I do the Figling building. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like so. Uh, yes. Good times. <laughs> Let's do it again sometime. All right, so there we go. 57 is the current number. Uh, you know, somewhere around 50 as we head out the door tomorrow, but some places are already kind of around that number. Here's a look at the current map. We're seeing 50s. Uh, and again, we make an area where we were at 61 just a little while ago, but everybody's dropped now. So 50 in Eastman, obviously that's going to be an average. The radar shot is very quiet. It will be not so quiet once we get into Friday afternoon into the evening hours with these thunderstorms coming across. You can see stuff back toward the west. Here is the threat map for Friday, and you can see a level one. That is a low end threat. Uh, you go to a level two, it goes up a little bit for our western counties, level three in lower Alabama into the panhandle of Florida. Let's see how Future View treats it. The model run, well, all of them all week have been showing something like this, a line of thunderstorms coming across as we go through the afternoon and into the uh, evening hours. But the one around the six o'clock show showed things just breaking up, almost like a non-event. Well, now it's kind of put itself back together. This is around lunchtime. As we go forward into around one o'clock or so, there could still be some breaks in there. Any of these cells back here could have some gusty winds or even maybe rotating a little bit. This is two or three o'clock for us. It does break it apart still in some spots. So let's just watch as we go through Friday afternoon and the evening for any storms that could get a little bit uh, you know, above normal thunderstorms, so strong to severe. There's around five, six, and again, that's not the exact placement of where storms are going to be, but you get the idea. I think the main threat by six, seven o'clock should be over, and then we'll go into a decent Friday night, and the front comes on through as we go overnight into Saturday morning. Maybe a few showers for Saturday morning, a few sprinkles if you head out early, uh, and then it'll clear on as we go through the day, and then sunshine takes over. Great looking Saturday, Sunday the same thing. And we keep the trend going on into next week. As you can see from Sunday on into Monday, Tuesday is quiet. Let's go forward into Wednesday. That'll be the next storm system coming across maybe Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night and may clear as we go into Thursday. We'll see how this plays out. Although latest runs showing stuff hanging around maybe into Friday. So here's a look at the numbers. 50 is an average, maybe some upper 40s in the morning. And now the temperature map is kind of going back and forth as well with the rain broken earlier. It was showing way up into the upper 70s tomorrow. Now, if we get the cloud cover in the rain, it will we'll see some 70s, but the numbers will come on down as the rain cooled air comes on in. So there's the seven day. We'll call it the potential for some strong thunderstorms for Friday afternoon into the evening, uh, clearing probably six, seven o'clock in our eastern counties, and then good stuff for the weekend as we go into next week, about Wednesday of next week for the next storm.